Hello and welcome to today's video. I'm your host, Virtual Gator Theories. Today I'm going to be comparing streaming services so you can have peace of mind as to whether you want to buy any. In this video, I will break it down category by category to make it easier to decide. We'll do a point system for each category with a final league table at the end. But before we get into this video, if you're one of the 99.2% who watch these videos and are not subscribed, why not click that subscribe button? Okay, let's zoom in to the first category. To start off with, let's discuss the creme of each streaming service, their exclusives, their originals. New to the stage, Disney Plus offers the fewest exclusives and originals, but is promising more in the future. Right now, the exclusives you need to know about is The Mandalorian, a brilliant Star Wars series. They also have a new High School Musical musical series and a live action Lady and the Tramp. But what's going to be a winner is when Disney Plus release their Marvel TV shows in the future. Moving to Netflix, what can we say other than they have some unbelievable originals? The likes of Sex Education, Riverdale, Big Mouth, F1 Drive to Survive, Six Underground, just to name a few of the many great TV shows and movies. Netflix originals are some of the best content available right now, and therefore definitely one of its best selling points. Finally, Amazon Prime also delivers a great range of originals from great shows such as Mr. Robot, The Grand Tour, The Boys, Hannah, and The Man in the High Castle, again just naming a few. From this first category, I'm going to award first place to Netflix, second place to Prime Video, and third place to Disney+. Plus. Next category, Availability on Devices. It's all great having these services, but if you've got no devices that can access them, it's going to be a waste of money. To start with, all three streaming services are available on PC and Mac, as well as Android and iOS devices. The difference will come down to the more specialist devices such as games consoles and smart TVs. All three do support a lot of smart TVs, so you'll have to check with each uh, of them to see which ones they actually accommodate. So it's going to have to come down to the games consoles. Disney Plus operates on both the Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Amazon Prime outdoes that with the PlayStation 3 as well. However, Netflix still outdoes them with support still for the Xbox 360 and Wii U as well. Amazon has just recently dropped though the Wii U from their support devices. While researching, I also found out Netflix still supports Windows phones, so round 2 goes to Netflix followed by Amazon Prime and then Disney+. Plus. Next category is something for all the family. Now Disney Plus is aimed as the family streaming service, and definitely will keep the kids happy, that's for sure, with all the great Disney movies and TV shows. However, for the adults, not so much. Once you've got through the Star Wars and Marvel's content, there's not much to watch for an adult audience. Maybe one day they will, whereas both Netflix and Prime have tons of content for both kids and adults, from movies for all the family to serious adult dramas. So for this category, I'm going to have to call it a draw between Amazon Prime and Netflix. Next category, usability. How easy is it to use each service? Each service has been designed pretty similar to be fair, almost like copy my homework but don't make it look obvious. The main problem for me is Amazon Prime as it also sells and rents movies and TV shows. This can be quite annoying, yes it has a banner on the corner of titles that are Prime available, but that can be quite small to see especially on smaller devices such as mobile phones. They have recently added a button for users to only see what's on Prime but it still comes down to remembering to click it. So Prime by having more features actually puts it bottom of this category. I want to say I really like Netflix's feature of hovering over a title and seeing a trailer for the film or TV show. It makes it so much easier to pick what you want to watch quickly. So for this category, the winner is going to be Netflix, followed by Disney Plus, and then Amazon Prime in third place. The final and potentially the most important factor, price. Now, for what you get, all of these streaming services are definitely worth their price. Netflix offers three prices with the main differences in streaming quality allowed and the amount of screens available at one time. The basic price of $5.99 offers Netflix on one screen at a time in 480p quality, which to me, if you ask me now, should be standard, should be HD, but if you can't afford it and just want Netflix and aren't bothered about the quality, then that's a price for you. Their standard plan that is probably the best one and the one most people get is £8.99 a month and allows two screens at once as well as HD streaming quality. Then there's Ultra if you need a lot of screens at once, if you have a big family who are all watching on different devices at the same time. It allows up to four screens at once and up to 4K streaming. Now, most people aren't going to be too bothered about 4K streaming, but if you have bought a 4K TV or an 8K TV, for example, and you want to see it in the best quality, then 4K streaming, I can understand going up to the ultra price just for that reason. 
Disney Plus is $5.99 a month and allows up to 4K streaming on the few limited titles they have that are available in 4K at the minute. They may produce more in future, but not all of the movies or titles on there are in 4K. Amazon Prime Video on its own is £5.99 and will allow you to stream up to 4K, but for £7.99 a month you can get full Amazon Prime. That includes Prime Video free next day delivery on as many items as you want, unlimited photo storage as well as Prime Music. That is about 2 million songs but gives you a discount to the full Amazon Music Unlimited which is their equivalent of Spotify or Apple Music. So overall, Amazon Prime is going to take this category, followed by Disney+, Plus, then Netflix. So here is the final league table. Netflix on 13 points, Amazon Prime on 11, and Disney+, Plus on 7. If you're looking for a streaming service, Netflix is by far the best, and probably should be. It is the reason Blockbuster went out of business. Netflix is a great service, but so are the other two. If you already get a lot of deliveries, Prime seems like the one to invest in first. Disney+, Plus is so brand new, it's got a lot of time to improve and catch up on the other two. Overall, in the end, it's going to come down to what you need and what suits your family more. Hopefully, this video gave you some useful information. If you enjoyed the video, why not smash that like button? Did you like this new style of video? Tell us below, as well as your thoughts on streaming services. If you're new to the channel, make sure you click that subscribe button to never miss out on our content again. If you're already subscribed, thank you so much for doing so, but why not also click that bell button so you get notified when we upload. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on Tuesday for another video. Thanks for watching, guys. Why don't you love me, love me, love me Touch me, touch me, touch me, no more